Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. We have had some changes uh, here on our Sunday and our Father's Day. More clouds have been uh, rolling in today. It was warm. It was also a little more humid, and that trend is going to continue for the next couple of days. Now, earlier today, just a few scattered showers and thunder showers. We did hold off our higher rain chances until tonight, and they will continue uh, into tomorrow, too. Still not a widespread area of rain, but we will certainly take what we can get. Amounts will be variable, but at least getting uh, many of us some much needed rain. Let's look at it right now on live first morning Doppler radar, and it looks like the most wide spread area is in the southern third of the tri-state and some of those more moderate amounts are right now along and south of the western Kentucky Parkway but we do have some moderate to even briefly uh, heavy rain at times along and north of the Ohio River just in smaller uh, areas nothing severe still can't rule out an isolated strong storm as we go through tonight but some gusty winds uh, would be our main concern for the most part we're just going to get some areas of some moderate to heavy rain uh, out of some of these and like we said we could use that we will take whatever we can get but down here in the southern third of the tri-state it is a little more widespread where you see those yellow radar returns kind of creeping up along and north of the western Kentucky Parkway some moderate rain falling so that that is a good thing and it continues to kind of spread its way farther to the north toward the Ohio River and then just north of that we have seen some more of these areas of showers and thunder showers breaking out and you can see them moving north through Davis County parts of the the city of Owensboro crossing over the river there into uh, southern Spencer County, southern Warwick County, over in two parts of Evansville. Also getting some of those uh, showers and thunder showers right now. And you can see at least some pockets of moderate to heavy rain. They continue to lift to the north. And then as we head farther to the northwest, you can see some of that coming up out of the north side of Evansville, up into northern Vandenberg County, crossing out of northern Posey County, over Interstate 64 into southwestern Gibson County, also up here in parts of uh, northeastern Gibson County and down uh, over into parts of Pike County, you're getting some of that action. And then this does go into Illinois too, southern uh, Wabash and Edwards County over into parts of Wayne County. And now that this area of low pressure is kind of getting into the tri-state, it'll continue to develop some of these scattered showers and thunder showers overnight and into tomorrow. We do have some uh, drops on our camera lens there from our Superior Ag Tower camera on top of Fifth Third Bank in downtown Evansville. 76 degrees and the dew point is up a little more even from the past hour. So we got into that tolerable humidity today. We're now starting to creep into that humid range and I do think we are going to be in that humid category for tomorrow and for Tuesday and at least stay tolerable it looks like then for much of the rest of the week. So this week is going to feel more humid than what we've been used to. Temperatures in the 70s now, it's just upper 60s for overnight lows. Severe weather staying down here to our south. We are kind of on the north side of it, nothing more than an isolated strong storm. Future Tracker keeps some scattered showers and thunder showers going overnight. And then it shifts a little more to our east, but still on the back side of it. Tomorrow we'll have some scattered showers and thunder showers. And that chance will even continue into uh, tomorrow night. And still some scattered showers and thunder showers possible during the day on Tuesday. For the rest of tonight, though, we'll keep the scattered showers and thunder showers in the forecast upper 60s. Continuing tomorrow, a humid high in the upper 70s. We're back into the low 80s on Tuesday, another humid day, then breezy, a little less humid for the first official start of summer Wednesday, and then tolerable humidity for the end of the week, some better rain chances Friday, and then they drop again for next weekend. All right, thanks, Stacy. Still ahead, a wrongful death loss.